and every one of you. What do you see as Wyoming's number one priority and what would you do to promote it? I'm gonna start with Ed. Thanks for the question. How long do we have left for this? One? Two minutes. All right. Um, I would say that the number one uh, priority for Wyoming right now is is to continue efforts to develop um, our economy. Uh, you know, economic development and economic diversification aren't new buzzwords. They've been around honestly since the 30s or 40s, and so I think we need to continue our efforts now. What do we do in the Secretary of State's office to continue those efforts? And I touched on that in my intro just a little bit. And really that is keeping Wyoming a business friendly state. That means keeping the registration fees low. It, it uh, also means making the annual report fees manageable uh, for companies so that they will still incorporate here. Um, and it also means continuing a program we just started which was uh, called the WIN program, which is Wyoming Invest Now. And that's really an entrepreneurial um, equity crowdfunding concept that we brought to the state of Wyoming to encourage private investors to invest in small startup companies because I think we all would agree that small business is the engine of our economy. Um, the other aspect with regard to economic development really comes in my role on the State Loan Investment Board. And when I touched on cities, towns, and counties, what we're really talking about there is infrastructure because it doesn't do a lot of good for companies to be coming to Wyoming and looking if we don't have the infrastructure to welcome them into our communities. We just did a, a project for Buffalo uh, where we, we gave them some money to complete infrastructure for a business park. And that's the type of economic development that I think um, we envisioned when we started things like the Wyoming Business Council. So those are some ideas I have in my role as Secretary of State uh, to help in our efforts to develop the economy. Thank you. And Jeff Doctor, I'm going to ask you that same question. One second. All right. What your number one priority is for Wyoming and what you will do to promote? So my number one uh, priority for Wyoming uh, within control of the auditor's office uh, is goes back to if you've seen my signs around town, you've seen I've got hashtag innovate 307 on, on my signs. And what I think is the most important thing for the auditor's office is to continue to innovate business processes and actually step up that process of, of innovation at the auditor's office so that Wyoming can remain and become even more business friendly uh, for Wyoming businesses in the future. So um, with that, you know, there's a couple of things I'd like to, like to look at. Um, the first is within the auditor's office, we need to make sure that state agencies who process payments on, on behalf of vendors have the technology that they need and have the functionality that they need in the state's accounting system. The auditor's office just recently upgraded from 3.9 to 3.11 um, with the state's accounting system. And I think it's important that we go in and make sure that we as, as an elected are working with state agencies to help them improve their processes as well, does that make sense? Um, because getting people paid in a timely and accurate manner is important. Um, the second thing I'd like to uh, look at then is um, with is helping with business needs down the road, right? So part of what I've talked about on the campaign trail is actually the incorporating the use of blockchain technology into the auditor's office to help with the transparency issue. Um, and I think as you begin to incorporate blockchain technology into that, what it allows you to do is when when we put Wyoming's checkbook online day one, what that'll do is it's going to show folks where the state of Wyoming is spending money. But what it's not going to do is let you know is if those expenditures are being spent in accordance with how the legislature and the governor agreed that they should be spent. So to me, it's important to meet future business needs to uh, make sure that the auditor's office is ready to do business in that new uh, world. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go with Jim Burton next. Thank you for the question. 